Hey there, Aries. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. I'm going to pull from the Hocus Pocus Tarot again today. And then um, I actually have a lot of decks pulled out. So I'm just going to intuitively pull from whichever ones I feel guided to after this one. And we're just going to see what comes out for you guys. Okay. I'm doing a free for all spread again. I'm just letting the cards come out how they want to. I actually really like it's a nice change of pace after doing um, the Celtic Cross as consistently as I have. So. Just a little something to shift the energy. I hope you guys are all well. If this fits your situation, awesome. If not, just try a different message. Cross watchers, you're welcome to be here, um, but you might have to flip the roles because I'm probably talking to you um, since you're the one here <laughs> to get the message. So if you have to vice versa the roles or genders, please feel free to do so. Again, just take what fits, leave what doesn't. Let's see what we get for Aries, please and thank you, spirit. For Aerie, the Hierophant and the Knight of Potions, the Knight of Cups. Oh, I was wondering if that was ever going to turn on. All right, so on your path here, it looks like you have somebody coming in or a couple someone's coming in to offer you something. Let's see what that's about. Tell me about this cup that's being offered. The Ace of Pumpkins. Ooh. Okay. So this would be something new. Could be a contract. You might even be reaching out to um, multiple people, like asking for a loan, uh, so multiple banks. Um, ooh, what's that about? Give me more on that. The Ace of Candles? Oh, that sounds so promising. Okay, Aries. This looks really good. Oh, it was this one. The Four of Swords. Really? Hmm. If something seems too good to be true, you might want to look at that fine print. Dang. That's the Four of Pumpkins in reverse. You're going to want to let this go. Four, four. Ooh, eleven. Master number 11 and 44. Yep, you're going to want to let this opportunity go because this is not what you think it is. What's the truth about it? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Come on. What do we got? Transformation. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's the death rebirth card. Nine of Lightning. That's the Nine of Swords. That's the Nightmare card. This is a nightmare. This is not as cracked up as it seems. And um, you're going to want to put an end to this nightmare before it even really starts. This is basically saying whatever this... Um, yeah, it's like you have the power to wake yourself up from a really... Um, Sorry, I can't keep, they keep saying the swords, the swords, the swords, the information, the what's being communicated. What are you really agreeing to here? Please, please pay attention to the fine detail. Um, there's something in, in fine print. The queen of lightning. Yeah, like hire a lawyer if you need to, because this, there's something that's not right here. There's a catch, and it's a big one. Tell me about this Four of Swords and Four of Pumpkins in reverse, or Pentacles in reverse. 
because this isn't pretty. You know what? In the movie, Max did get out of that. The Emperor and the Four of Potions and the Three of Potions. There's third party interference. There's something else that's going to take priority over you, over this, over what you thought this was. It Not everything that glitters is gold. Uh, somebody actually uses this terminology, this phrase. I don't really care for it. It's a little gross, but you can polish a turd, but it's still a piece of shit. Okay, so if you are somebody you know that says that, this is another confirmation that this message is for you. The hermit, yeah. Pull away, pull away, pull away. Do not involve yourself with this. Drop this situation. Ghost it. Block if you need to. The Queen of Camp, that's a karmic. And the Two of Lightning, you didn't see it. You, you won't see this coming. They're trying to take you for a fool. Look at that, the fool. They're trying to take you for a fool. They want you to light the dark flame or black flame candle, whatever. They want you to start something that you can't fucking finish. Yeah, Five of Cups, you're going to lose so much. Be careful. Be careful. Loss, sadness. Mm -mm. Yeah, you're stronger than that. You are, yeah. Mm hmm. Whew. Let's pull from the animal spirits. I want to pull from the animal spirits for you. We have Aries, Aries, Libra, Scorpio. Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Taurus, Virgo on the board. Keep in mind, you have like 20 charts and multiple signs in each. We can take on any sign at any time. These signs could also just be significant of like times of year, seasons when this, when different things took place. Yeah, Stag Spirit, take the lead. You're the emperor here. This feels like a hand up or like a helping hand. It's not. It's not. I'm also getting if somebody, somebody could be um, getting ready to sell something they can't buy back in order to get what it is that they want. That is so weird. You would think that if the dad dressed up is the emperor, then the mom dressed up would be the empress, but she's the queen of wands, the karmic. Someone's not who you think they are. Your idea of who they were is going to be shattered by who they actually are. Do not, do not, don't do it. Whatever this is, it's too good to be true, period. Fucking period. Learn from the past and see the big picture. So yeah, this is a red flag that you should be aware of. Trust your intuition. I'm going to leave it there. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you and I'll see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.